The Etna volcano was erupting violently, a sign that Typhon, the monster imprisoned by Zeus, was especially unhappy. The tremors caused by the volcanoes left Hades, the lord of the underworld, worried. He feared that these tremors would split the earth and bring light to the world of darkness, so he climbed to the surface to better analyze the situation. Meanwhile, Aphrodite and her son Eros, also known by the Romans as Cupid, were watching Persephone, the goddess of spring. Eros and Aphrodite were offended by the fact that both the goddess Athena and the goddess Artemis were virgins and pure, thus denying the impulses of passion and love. Persephone was on the same path. To maintain her chastity, her mother, the goddess Demeter, took her away from Mount Olympus since she was constantly besieged by various gods. Aphrodite realized that Hades was moving in the direction of Persephone. Hades was another who could avoid the influence of the goddess of love since he lived in the underworld. But Aphrodite believed that this was the time to change that. Eros chose his sharpest arrow and struck the heart of the god of the underworld. Hades did not perceive anything, for the arrows of Eros cannot be detected, but when precise they have a devastating impact. When confronted with Persephone, Hades was seized by an enthralling impulse. He was hopelessly in love. Impetuously, Hades grabbed his beloved and caused the earth to open so that he might return to his domain. Demeter, the mother of Persephone and the goddess of crops, missed her daughter and went around the world in search of her girl. After much searching, she met one of the end nymphs who used to accompany her daughter. The nymph told her how Hades had kidnapped her and led her into the underworld through the land that had opened up. Due to her deep sadness for not finding her daughter, Demeter eventually neglected her tasks and thus the land became infertile and the crops were lost. Knowing her daughter's fate, Demeter turned to Zeus so that he would force Hades to return her daughter. Reluctantly, Zeus said he could not do anything since Hades was sovereign in his territory. Demeter threatened to make the world infertile forever since the land was complicit in her daughter's abduction by opening the way to the underworld. Alarmed by the threat, Zeus decided that Persephone could return to the surface as long as she had not eaten anything offered by Hades. The Supreme God allowed Hermes to lead Demeter to the underworld so that she could rescue her daughter. When she got there, she discovered that Persephone had already eaten a pomegranate offered by Hades, and so her bond with the underworld could not be totally undone. Demeter was appalled. And to soften the relationship with her mother-in-law, Hades proposed that Persephone spend half the year with each one of them. Sealing the agreement, Persephone could return to the surface with her mother. From the soil that was infertile, flowers began to sprout in great quantity, and the harvests were again full. However, when the period of encounters between Persephone and Demeter was exhausted, the young goddess had to return to the underworld to stay with her husband. Demeter was devastated to see her daughter leave and again neglected her tasks. However, with the return of her daughter after the period with her husband, everything returned to flourishing, and thus the seasons began.